Hello and welcome. Chef Pennington here. Today we're having fun with potatoes and a mandolin. We're going to slice some potatoes really thin and we're going to style them in a way that's a little bit unique and different. And that's the whole idea. So let's get started here. First off, we're going to make some potato flowers. What a cool idea. Potato flowers. Who ever thought? What we're going to do is we're going to cut some potato really thin on a mandolin. We're going to use a cupcake tin and we're going to make them look like roses. We're going to style them a really easy and unique way. So we've got some butter in the base there. We're going to add our friend bacon. This is a brunch item. So who doesn't love some bacon in the morning? So just a little bit at the bottom. If you guys don't have bacos, you want to cook your own, go ahead and put it in a 400 degree oven on a roasting rack and it'll turn out perfect every time. So we're going to start styling them kind of adjacent to each other, one on one side, one on the other, and then you can twist and turn them however you like to get them to look how you like. But the idea is it's going to look kind of like a rose which is really cool. We've done a hundred things with potatoes before, but who's made a potato rose? So this is cool. Add a little more butter. You want to use high quality butter, always use high quality butter. If the, the low quality butter that's really cheap, you're actually paying for a lot of water. So something to consider. What is butter? Butter is really fat, high quality fat. And we're going to get some of the undisputed king of cheese in there, a little bit of Parmesan. You guys can use whatever you like, of course. But Parmesan adds that nice little salty, nutty kind of bite, which really enhances the flavor of the potato nicely. So the egg, you can put it in now, or you could put it in halfway through the cooking process. It really depends on how you like your eggs. If you put them in early like this, the eggs are not going to be runny. They're going to be more firm, but it still works pretty nicely. I say pretty because everyone's so different in the way they like their eggs. So that's something to consider. Get a little chive in there. That brings a little bit of earthiness and also color. We love color. And that's it guys we're gonna put that in the oven we're gonna cook it till it's done it's about 20 30 minutes or your preference and we'll have potato flowers and there we go Isn't that really cool guys hope you guys enjoy that give that a try I mean it's just a really beautiful thing to put on your table when you're doing a brunch let's move on let's do some potato leaves this is just once again another interesting way to play with potatoes but we're gonna do something different we're gonna give them a little bath we're going to put them in a little bit of apple cider vinegar and some salt. We're pretty much brining them, which is just going to bring more flavor, which is what we always want, right? So that's good. It's going to take about 20 minutes. Plus, putting them in the water helps them not brown, too. So if you don't have the time to cut them all and keep going right there in the moment, you don't want your potatoes to turn brown on you, there you go. Stick them in some water. So we're going to do the same process here. When you guys are using a mandolin, they often have two different blades on them. They have a thin and a thick so that you control how you're going. And in this case, we want to use thin. I would say it's about half the thickness of what thick would be. So we're using rusted potatoes here today. They're just a little more starchy and heartier. All right. Next, we're going to use high quality butter. This is stuff I really suggest you guys buy. It's Kerrygold, it's grass fed, and it really tastes really good. So we're going to get some butter in the base of a bread tin. You can find these at your grocery store and they're about five bucks. There are better quality ones out there, of course. You could use a flatter, larger one if you really want to make a larger batch. So it's really however you like, but here's what the key is. We're just going to lay them next to each other and put them in whatever kind of pattern you want but go ahead and get the butter distribute it all over it's just going to help with the browning and of course the flavor but you definitely want to make sure you try to get all of them covered it really does make a difference in the end product so have you guys ever seen anything like this you ever made this before if you guys have or or you know know of another variation go ahead and leave a comment below i'd love to hear about it all right, let's build it. Could not be easier, guys. There's no rhyme or rhythm to this. It's whatever you guys like, but it's just a matter of layering these guys together and getting them across and putting as much potato in there as you can possibly get in there. It's almost like we're making a potato loaf of bread. <laughs> Garlic salt, potatoes and garlic have always been good buddies. As little or as much as you like. 
Our buddy Parmesan cheese is here again. And once this comes out of the oven, you guys can let it cool and then take it out of the tin or cut it in the tin and serve it like a stack of pancakes, you know, and then you could put whatever else, whatever kind of goodies you want, like sour cream and stuff like that. It takes about an hour, depending on your oven. Everyone cooks a little different. You guys will have potato leaves. Be sure to come join us on social media. We'd love to have you guys over there. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the like button if you enjoyed it. We'll have all the information you guys could want on the website. And you guys have a great one. Take care.